Hey Titan Nation, I want to highlight a few key differences that uh, this school year brings. Make sure everybody's on the same page and understands what uh, at school and at home look like. So I'm about to present a fair amount of uh, new information to you guys. Some of it's just new for this year and some of it's new even within the last couple of weeks where school here at 801 Discovery might look a little bit different. You need to make sure you pay attention. Also have a lot of info on text documents that are linked in the email as well. Uh, check into all of those and make sure you're good with the decision you made. If there's something that's changed that's causing you to shift, we need to know that right away. Um, put in a deadline of Wednesday afternoon, uh, let's say four o'clock, for you guys to have the, your plans in. If you have further questions, uh, maybe something that I don't cover in the videos or that's not in the documents, you can email me here or you can call the school and ask for Mr. Jepson. Uh, any number of our staff members could probably help you out as well to clarify things. I'm trying to give you guys as good of a picture as we can. Obviously, there's some things we don't know, but I think we've built plans for at school and at home options starting on the 28th. I'm really looking forward to moving on with that. We think that's gonna be able to um, even further our educational experience for all of our students. The schedule will be very similar to what it was last year. The only difference is we've moved some time out of advisory to the beginning of the day, at least here for the beginning of the year, to make sure we have time to get everything set and ready and that students have the opportunity for breakfast, which will be in the classroom. Uh, we'll have the first, second, third period, advisory, and then fourth, fifth, and sixth. Lunch will be during fourth period, depending on which section you are. For those of you that are at home, you're going to be expected to keep up in the same way. Our schedule will not function like NTI. When you're an at-home learner, you have all six classes in a day taking place between 8.30 and 3.22, just like your at-school peers. Our classrooms are set up to try to accommodate social distancing as best they can. The vast majority of our classes, students will be more than six feet apart, but in some classes that's just not feasible. We have more students maybe at school for certain subjects than we can fit in a room in that way. And so regardless, masks are gonna be on all the time, um, but as best we can, we will distance students. If you are an at-school student, there's actually a decent chance that you'll have an online class while at school. We have several staff members that have a high-risk situation for their health or the health of the family member that lives with them. And they are still highly qualified teachers. They still have been preparing an online classroom space, and hopefully it's as excellent as we can make it, and we keep making it better. But you might actually be a performing arts center or a different classroom supervised by a staff member that's not your teacher, obviously there to help, but the highly qualified teacher is at home giving you online lessons. That'll happen at the same time every day, just as if how it fits in your schedule. And you would be logging on, going to Google Classroom or what have you to engage in that class. We have a goal that nobody has more than two of those classes. Really, um, even though that's difficult, if you sign up for at school, you want to be with an at school teacher. It just doesn't work that way for all of our students all the time. And according to um, statistics on college students, prior to quarantine, one third, actually more than a third of college students, took online classes at some point in their college career. Obviously, with uh, this year, COVID and everything, that number is accelerating rapidly. So it's a part of our world regardless. You might have an online class. Dress code will be a little bit different for those of you that are at school learners. The biggest, most obvious difference is this thing right here required all of the time that you're in the school building. Second change is that because we've got this new thing, we're gonna try sweatpants. So sweatpants and athletic shorts that are at least fingertip length or longer will be permitted during regular school days. When we do come back to school on the 28th after NTI is over, we will actually have to have some students change classes. They won't change which class they're taking, but they might change which teacher or which period they're in. The reason our counselors are working on this is to try to maximize social distancing and have as few students in any given class as possible. Sorry for this inconvenience, but we think it's best for everybody's safety and safety comes first. This lunchtime is gonna look a little bit differently. As you can see, my friend Miss Settles is having lunch with me today. You can see we're at a double table and there'll be room for four students socially distanced at this table. The whole cafeteria is set up like that. There'll be room for 112 in here and we'll wait till you see the other lunch location. But masks will be on until it's time to eat and then you can eat. These seats will actually have to be assigned. The first couple days of school, there'll be um, kind of random assignments. And we'll give you guys a sign up genius or wait while or something so you have a chance to try to sit up in the same general area as some folks you know. Remember that time I told you about the other lunch location I was kind of mysterious about it? 
Surprise! It's the gym! Huh? How about it? We've got bleacher seating for uh, a whole lot of folks at lunch. Um, that does give us a big space that we can separate out in, and maybe you'll be able to catch a little uh, PE class highlights while you're uh, enjoying a delicious school lunch. So there you go. There's a whole lot that looks different this semester at Mark Lane Collins High School. We still have great teachers and great students working together to make this a really positive learning environment. We've got our challenges. Top priority is making sure we keep everybody safe, and we're going to keep the learning moving forward as best we can for both at school and at home options. Need you to make sure that you have confirmed by Wednesday afternoon what your preference is for your student. I think we've got everybody down correctly, but we've had several try to make changes lately, and we just want to make sure that we have everybody down correctly for scheduling and so forth. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. I've tried to cover as much as I can in the videos, but if I haven't covered something or you have further questions, shoot me an email right here. See, I'm going to hold real still, make sure it's there. Love you, Titan Nation. Thanks for being great.